Hello everyone, today I wanted to upload some Dream Witch tips because I got a couple of requests to do so and I thought why not, this should be fun. But before I do, I just want to say that I um, actually made a video of like a Dream Witch persona guide for beginners. So I would recommend you watch that one before you watch this one because the personas actually really help a lot. Unfortunately, I'm not like a pro editor so... I, I'm not going to be editing this perfectly for like tips and stuff, but I'm just going to be talking over and giving you, telling you guys like about what I do in games to help me be better. The first and most important tip I have for you guys is to calm down and like not overreact or get freaked out because Dream Much is a hunter that allows for mistakes. Like Mary is a hunter that you can't really make mistakes with, but Dream Witch is a hunter you can and you can bounce back from your mistakes your mistakes so even if you do bad don't worry you can bounce back from that later and still get a win and i did that in this game by the way so dream witch is definitely a really complicated hunter and by no means is easy and i remember looking up youtube videos on how to do better as her when i first started but the most important thing is to practice because practice really does make perfect and the more you get used to a character you'll you get used to their controls the more you'll be able to like easily use them so that's basically what i do for dream Witch and how i am so good at her but i also want to talk about like stuff i do in games that just greatly improves first of all this is like a tip for any kind of hunter just make sure you look and pay attention to the shaky cypher machines because that actually improves your gameplay more than you could ever really know to know what cyphers the survivors are decoding will give you a huge advantage especially if you're someone like dream Witch who doesn't have a camp like sculptor and the only way you can really have camp potential is by hitting them far away and then hitting them again at the chair unless it's someone like perfumer or like gravekeeper or anyone that can just like take multiple hits it really does help to hit them far away and then switch to the follower at the chair but in order to be able to do that you need to pay attention to the shaky cypher machines honestly as dream you want to be paying attention to kind of any movement out of the corner of your eye because if you're paying attention to like the movement uh and stuff you will be able to see people you, need to re you really need to be attentive if you you need to know where every survivor is at every time well you don't have to but it's like if you know where every survivor is at all times then you basically are guaranteed to do pretty well because you have control over them with these followers you have map control you have map potential and map pressure to get the upper hand in the game to stop them from decoding is really important so i just would really pay attention to movement like shaking cypher machines and stuff pay attention to who has a leech what leech they are okay i didn't know this at first when i first started playing dream Witch, but someone told me this and it helped me out so much and it's probably like obvious and i'm probably like dumb that i missed this at the beginning but you know how the names there's a plane flying above me sorry about that i'm kind of recording my audio outside right now but the names you know they're in the top right leech follower one will be the survivor all the way over to the left and leech follower four will be all the way over to the right so you can infer one two three four and that's how you know whose leech is who that is actually super helpful and the more you play like dream Watch, the more that will just come naturally to you to be able to figure out and i actually did a, um switch to the wrong follower at one point in this game because I was kind of freaking out a little bit. It was when this year struggled out. I don't know if that happened yet, but anyways, so that's one of the most important things is like to pay attention to the leeches. Dream Witch is different from other hunters in the sense that she makes her power. She makes herself more powerful because the more leeches you have, the more powerful you become. So you always want to be leeching as soon as possible. I don't know if it happened yet this game, but you'll see I was in Central when the Mind's Eye was coming to the rescue. It's always important that you try to leech the rescuer also as well as injuring the rescuer too but it's okay if you can only either leech or injure them i would recommend just leeching them because you can injure them after they rescue and it's important that everyone is injured because the more injured people the better chance you have of winning especially with map control like dream witches okay so i have this friend called uh their username on youtube i think is mocha tears youtube definitely check out their channel i'll link it in the description box but basically they said that they used to not be able to like move not they used to hesitate before they 
moved as central body but you might be like what but when the follower either goes out of zone or dies it will switch you back to central and some people i feel like if you're not as used to her they can like hesitate to move and i didn't really know this is a thing because i kind of was like always used to moving but yeah you just kind of want to get used to it but if you know that the follower is about to go out of zone like the timer countdown to like one two three or the you know the follower is about to die just continue to have your hand on the joystick for me it's the wasd keys although this game i'm showing you right now was on mobile you just want to always be able to like have something going on you can use every single part of your body you can use central body to help you you can use every single follower and a tip that I learned from Dream Witches when I was just beginning that actually helped me so much was always have a leech doing something. Always have a leech either camping a chair, camping a cipher, try to corner them with their leech. Uh, unless it's like really, really early game, your leeches, you should always be placing them strategically and using them strategically. Basically, you have to remember that the followers are your ability. It's not like Sculptor. I mean, it is like Sculptor. It's like how Sculptor statues are her abilities. Mary's mirror. The followers are your ability. Even though it's called leeching and uh, preaching for like the actual abilities, the followers are also your ability and being able to control them. And you need to utilize that. You need to remember that they're abilities that you need to use to the best of your capabilities. So now I'm going to be giving tips for like Chase because Chase is really iffy with Dream Witch. It can either go super well or it can go super bad. First of all, never just solo chase someone with spawn. Even if you have patroller and blink, those usually can only score you one hit. You need to utilize central body. If you're using patroller, you need to utilize the fact that central body can also use patroller. If you're using blink to start out with, you need to utilize the fact, you need to remember that the leeches have a long cooldown of blink after they're being put on immediately. They won't have blink as soon as the spawn follower will have blink. If you want to blink on them first with spawn and then with leech, that's cool. But remember, characters like Seer can get rid of the leech if it hits the owl. So, patroller is really, like if you see a Seer, patroller is definitely better. If there's just like a lot, if like if there's a character like Priestess, like Doctor can be countered by both Patroller and Blink, but usually Blink is better unless they're really good at countering Blinks. And as for Barmaid, just don't chase Barmaid first. And I don't feel I feel like it's never gonna chase Barmaid first as Dream, which like it's possible, but as for me, I started like the season with her new nerf. I started carrying Blink most of the time. But then I was like, mm, no, because all the pro dream witches are saying patroller is better. So even if I don't, like, I should learn how to be able to use patroller for first chase. So that's what I did. And I kind of have, like, an issue where I forget to use my abilities. Like, I forget to use patroller because if you're using it on the follower, you have to stop what you're doing to put out the patroller. Which is kind of annoying to me sometimes, which is why you need to try and utilize the fact that such body can put it down. And try to use, like, if the leech follower is going over to the survivor put the patroller down and spawn if spawn is catching up with central put the patroller down in central and the follower will just automatically be moving while you're doing that it's like a win-win multitask now, this is so important out of zone you might not well out of zone you might just think that means the followers out of zone but sending followers out of zone is really important as dream Witch. If you want the follower to go to the survivor, send it out of zone. Don't send it towards them unless they're like in a straight line close to you, not moving. Send the follower away from central if you're like having trouble in a chase. That can like reset your chase, give you an advantage. And that's basically it. That's it, basically. I don't really have that much to say unless you guys want a part two, but I don't really. I'll have to think of more stuff, but uh, thanks to the people who requested this, and I hope this was helpful. Yeah.